Hi, I'm Laura, and here's what we at The Goss think you should do if you are in love with your boss. The old, we want what we can't have routine is tried and tested, but boy, does it make relationships that much harder. And let's face it, having a crush on your boss is not ideal. Not only does it mean jeopardising your own career, but also potentially the career of your colleagues. It's frowned upon by most people and is also a tad cliché. Having a relationship with your boss could very well mean sneaking around the place and keeping things a secret. That's an incredible stressful and difficult thing to do. But the very fact that it's far from easy to date your boss is probably the reason you want it so much. Once you're hooked, you're hooked. And there's probably no going back. If your boss is married, it's not a good idea to get involved. But if he's single and is attracted to you too, then there's no reason why you can't start dating. But remember, being in a relationship with your boss is something that can upset your colleagues if they think it means that you are getting preferential treatment. Try and keep your relationship below the radar as best you can. Remember, you can always quit your job. This may seem a bit extreme, but if you are truly in love, Handing in your notice could be a great way to allow the two of you to be together in an open manner. This doesn't have to mean being jobless. Just look around for work and applying to jobs while you maintain your current position, then simply transfer to the new job. If you aren't willing to leave your job just yet, then think about transferring to another branch or department so that you are no longer dealing with your boss directly. Finally, think long and hard about how much you want this relationship and whether you are willing to sacrifice your job for it. You need to make absolutely sure that you are really attracted to the person and not just their position and the situation.